So I'm from DoSomething.org. We're the largest organization for young people and social change. We activated 2.4 million young people to do something last year. Uh, we, run we run 25 national cost campaigns every year. And by young people, I mean the people between the ages of 13 and 25. So anybody who's over 25 is known as an old person in our office. So <laughs> whenever somebody turns 26, it's a very sad day. And maybe that's why they take the day off. Um, so we are 70% corporate funded. We used to be 90% corporate funded. We just uh, came down to 70% because last year, I made our network, uh, Knight Foundation, and Google invested in us to take us to scale because they really believe in what we're doing and we're having uh, tons of success over the past three years. So I want to give you a very short story, a case study that uh, reflects how a successful partnership works with Do Something. So five years ago, we uh, asked our members, what's one issue that you really care about? And our members are young people. And back then, we had about 120,000 young people. And the one issue that came up was uh, teen homelessness. And that's an issue that they're really, they're really passionate about and they want to do something about it. So we said, well, what can we do about teen homelessness? That's such a massive issue. issue. Uh, and when we think about homelessness, we think about those old guys you know, who are carrying, who are, who are carrying a, um, a cart or like have a massive uh, tra uh, trash bag with them or they're just dirty and like bearded guys on the subway or something like that. But actually, a third of the US hom homeless population is under the age of 18. So, so it's a massive issue, and we need to address it. So we said we need to do something about it. So we started calling youth homeless shelters across the country to ask them, what is something that you find that young people need when they come to, you, when, when they come to your homeless shelter? And you would think that maybe it's like a shower or a cell phone or an iPod or something like that, right? It was blue jeans. It's so simple. It's blue jeans. That's all they need. And when you think about it, it's such a simple answer. Jeans are such a staple uh, piece of clothing in all of our wardrobe, especially teenagers. It makes them feel normal. It gives them dignity. So we said, we need to do something about this. So we started to, um, we, we, we planned to uh, start the largest jean drive in the country. And we needed a corporate partner. So we looked at brands that young people care about. And Eric Costal was the top brand that came out after doing more research and asking more young people about what brands they care about. So we talked to Eric Costal, created a fantastic partnership where we had our members going to their stores to drop off a gently worn pair of jeans. And in return, they would get 25% off coupon to buy another pair of jeans. It's a win-win for, for both of us. Five years later, this year, we uh, launched the campaign again in January. And I'm happy to report that we collected 1,048,000 pairs of jeans. Wow. That's effectively clothing two-thirds of the homeless teen population in the US. So that's a meaningful impact. That's actual impact. But what's, <laughs> Thank you. But what's really great about this for the, on the corporate side is that Aeropostale got 350,000 young people to go into their stores at a time of year that was really not good for them, which is after Christmas. Everybody's broke. Nobody's going to the malls. And they have 1,000 stores. And we send 350,000 people into their stores. So that's, a, uh, that's an example of the kind of partnerships that we like to create. It's a win-win.